So, hello to all my dear aspirants. Welcome you to Sail to MDS Dental Academy. I'm Dr. Manit Tiyadi, Pediatric Dentist and Professor in College of Dental Sciences. So, today aspirants, we are here with one more important video regarding your exam preparation, regarding your NEET MDS and INI City preparation. Already we have made many videos, all the small small points like MCQ approach, what books to read and everything uh, we have talked in our past videos. If anybody want to watch them in more detail, the link is there in the description box. Also the information is given on i button above. Today what I am going to talk, whether I am going to talk that same old thing, no. With every year, the things are getting updated, you know, you know our mobile or iPhone also get updated every year. So same way, the preparation also should be updated. Why? Because number of students who are giving exams are increasing. The level of questions difficulty are increasing and also the more and more the increased competition scenario is becoming nowadays. That's why we have to go for the practical approach. So let's start with the video. Before starting with the video, I want to tell my students that avoid few myths in your preparation, few false thinking in your preparation. Okay. You know, kabhi hum log kuch kaam karte hai, uske pehle hum ko ye pata hona chahiye ki kya nahi karna. So preparation ke pehle, you don't have to do the following things. The first thing aspirant, those students, let's say now very few days are left, 150, 200 days are left for examination. Precisely we think if it is in December, you have 150 days. So some of them are thinking that, chalo ek baar chance de de de, hua to hua, nahi hua to dekhi ye. See, if you have a second plan in your mind regarding the NEET and NDS exam, at that time only you are lost. You are not being that top thousand of the NEET MDS. See, nowadays to do MDS is not very tough. Okay, if you are qualified, definitely you are going to get the XYZ college C. But you have to be the better MDS. So you have to get the good rank in top thousand and you have to go to the good government and good private colleges. Then the criteria of getting MDS will be fulfilled. Otherwise, what happened here? Might have heard from your seniors, some, some people that MDS karke bhi kuch fayda nahi hua. Why? Because they are not properly trained from good college. So if you are planning to do MDS, give your best and sincere effort. Second thing experience, remember that if somebody uh, is in the internship, don't neglect it completely. You nowadays they ask case based question, image based question. So the clinicals in your internship is going to helpful. And also those who are doing the job or some practice, please aspirant, you do the job. That's a good for your clinical knowledge, but don't just focus completely on the job. I have seen few students are telling me, sir, we go to the clinic, we go to the clinic, but we don't have time, so we have to take time. You go to clinic, I'm not saying no, but try to keep one shift, either morning or evening. Don't go both the time. Because you know clinical work technically the puri life padi. But if you are planning properly for the need MDS, you only are going to do the clinical work in the best way. That's why focus on the clinicals but in the conservative manner. Then aspirant avoid negative influence. Now only if you type in the YouTube or Instagram, need MDS preparation and number of videos are there. There are few channels, few academy. We tell the student and guide the student in a proper way. But there are few videos which misguide the student. You might have heard from people that Bas last 10 saal ki paper karke chale jao. Haram se tumhara neat MDS nikal jayega. That is completely false information. Before 2018, the neat MDS used to be called as AIPG. Where the repeat were around 50 to 60 percent. But nowadays when from where the NB has taken over this examination, work the repeat have drastically reduced to 8 to 10 percent so only by reading the last 10 papers it is not at all going to help you and if you want to defer also don't we are going to talk in the later part of the video how many papers you have to defer so please avoid this step of the past papers then we have seen few people those who have just done the bds they are guiding the students no experience you don't you have to take the guidance from the proper student also few MDS who have got a rank in thousands and studying in some private deemed university, they are guiding students. No, you have to take the guidance from the top 100 students. In our academy, I, I was in top 100 when I cleared the exam. 
my staff all have taken their the top 250 300 drawings because they can guide you properly we have been grilled in such a manner throughout the journey let's see if you want to learn the root canal therapy in best way you will approach to the neurontics only so same way for your preparation also you have to take care it is not just a simple thing it's your work hard that will make you to reach there okay spiran now let's talk about the important part of the thing is that the first you have to understand the exam remember your neat mds exam is different than your university exam what happened i have seen uh, two type of students mainly first students were telling me sir itna sara padhna padega kaise padhenge hum log koi shortcut nahi hai no aspirant koi shortcut nahi hai second i have seen students sir itna hi hai आप एनाटॉमी के लिए सिर्फ 45 फाइव टू फिफ्टी या 60 वीडियोस ही शेयर करते हो उससे ज़्यादा क्यों नहीं करते इसको और डिटेल में पढ़ना है दैट इज़ नॉट पॉसिबल एक्सपीरियंस बिकॉज यू हैव टू कंप्लीट 21 सब्जेक्ट्स इन द पीरियड ऑफ अराउंड 8 टू 12 मंथ्स सो दिस 21 एवरी सब्जेक्ट यू कैन नॉट रीड इन सो मच डिटेल यू कैन नॉट डू पी इन द एवरी सब्जेक्ट सो यू हैव टू डील विद एवरी सब्जेक्ट इन कैलकुलेटिव मैनर दैट्स वाई इन अवर अकेडमी we provide more than 600 videos and all those 600 videos are not of uh, you know one one hour we have made a micro lectures of 5 to 7 minutes the student can easily grab them okay otherwise if you you know from every subject questions are going to come you are leaving one subject also gone you are you will be thrown away from the top 1000 ranks so please aspirant don't go in so much excessive detail also and also don't study very 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 superficially so that you have to take care you have to understand the exam because this is a mcq based examination you require a knowledge rather than you know the bulky thing because they will ask you the specific thing okay where the amyl blastoma is seen commonly so the specific thing you should know rather than going in very detail of the your yes, histopathology looks like this looks like that so that first thing understand the exam properly second blunder we all create directly we open the mcq book and start reading no that is not at all going to help you what do you do you play guesswork when you go for the mcq preparation you can click on the i button above i have shared one beautiful video how you have to do the mcq and why guesswork will harm you in the examination but here we will tell you few important points that when you approach directly to the mcq you will learn just one point you will mug up that point you not knowing the base behind the point so before you start a preparation the concept building is highly 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 important so how you do concept building you can do the concept building by reading synopsis by going through our academy notes so after reading the concept building you can approach to the mcqs so this is the best way to build your proper concept and then approaching to the mcqs now come the important things okay let's say you have 150 days from today for your preparation so how many days you have to give so first 75 to 80 days you have to give for your base preparation or the initial ready and remaining 65 to 70 days for your revision okay so now we learn how to divide your time very simple way i will tell you i'm not going to tell you half an hour you do that half an hour you do this no simple thing you have to go for the rule of 2 now time has come that you have to study at least for a period of around 10 to 11 hours so every day yeah let's say uh, some subject is there i'm not going to tell you that give this much time to a specific subject let you try to make your custom schedule okay because for some people endrontics is a 2 3 day work for some will be work for the 7 to 8 days so try to make the custom schedule but if somebody want reference how you have to divide your time the link is there in description box that may help you if you are confused that okay and do is there how many days i have to give you 3 days dadh 1 2 days oral path 10 to 12 days so if you want guidance is there otherwise you can make your custom schedule so in a day you have to study 10 hours first take your clinical subject and along with that do one basic subject the three important subject that is a physio pharmac medicine do in the integrated manner we teach in our academy integrated manner like that cvs we are doing of physio pharmac medicine all together so you have to study in that manner only okay aspirant so let's see in a day you have 10 hours so first two hours you study one clinical subject let's say i have taken the periodontics two hours you are studying synopsis of that after two hours you can study the mcq part of that so first four hours of one subject 
second three to four hours of the another basic subject let's say you are taking the biochemistry or microbiology one one and a half hour synopsis another one one and a half an hour mcqs so like that you have to eight hours you have to study in the remaining one half two hours you have to take your any system let's say you're taking a respiratory system do physiopharmic medicine of the respiratory system and then you will learn understand them in a better way then because many times the student ask us sir neat exam was good but physiopharmic medicine may we fail to answer but when you're doing the interrelated manner you can answer them in very very easiest Okay, aspirant. So this is the way how you divide your ten hours. Then before sleeping or before ending your day, revise whatever you have done in the full day in half an hour. So here only your revision will be done, and your short term memory will be converted into this long term memory. So this is the basic fund how you have to divide your subject, and you have to divide your time. Now come many people are asking me, sir, textbook padna hai? Yes, textbook padna hai. Wo bhi. standard reference textbook the link is there in the i button above don't read the sub standard books from where the questions are not going to come why we repeatedly telling standard textbook because the things will come from questions will prepare from that textbook only okay then some student asking me sir maine ye answer click kiya tha par mera galat hua because in that book the answer is different but standard books follow the proper articles and everything so you have to refer standard textbook and don't have to refer the full text you just have to refer the important lines let's say you don't know what amelogenesis imperfecta i'm not telling read full amelogenesis imperfecta okay you can go through the important points from there let's say rule of 2 to 5 max 5 points you can study that will help you to know the amelogenesis imperfecta so you have to go for the little reference of textbook reading now as i told in the beginning of the video about the past papers you have to the past papers but when okay in the revision phase that is the remaining 75 days in which 50 days again you will revise whatever you have done in the first 75 days and last 25 days you have to do the past papers past papers what all you have to do you have to read from the 2017 18 to 2022 don't do all the past they are not going to help you okay because whenever the nbd has prepared the prepare you have to follow that only and along with the neat papers you have to see the sr sheet papers you have to see the inicd paper also all latest sr sheet and inicd paper are there in our academy if anybody want to join test series also the link is there in description box fine aspirant and whenever you are preparing keep saturday sunday for the preparation like you have to give the exam and don't give only subject wise exam give the combo exam like the combination of subject so when we give the subject wise exam what happen falls uh, you know hype will be there yes i know the subject completely but when you give the subject wise also and combo also you will remember yes and also i am making some mistake i have to work hard more in that subject so try to give this combination of the examination okay aspirant so this is the way you can plan your preparation and when you are doing revision don't learn anything extra or anything new we have habit of uh, from the instagram facebook learn new new things don't fall in the prey of this remember those who are knowing the basics and common thing very properly they only clear the neat examination because 70 to 80% of things they ask very basic question the remaining 20% they ask very high funda that will be answered by very less students okay aspirant hope you might have understood everything whatever you have told so we are going to start our new batch for the neat mds as well as government dental exam and for the interview preparation we have lectures of more than 600 videos when you log in you are going to get all the lectures plus new lectures will keep on adding and plus we have exam series of more than 50 examination with updated papers okay so if anybody want to join the information is there on the screen also there in description box so any help experience you people want regarding your planning preparation you can contact me without any hesitation till then take care work hard and all the best for your exams